the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you recognized what fruit you're supposed to be bearing today? Have you recognized what you're supposed to be cultivating in your life today? Huh? How is how's your love? Have you loved other people? How's your joy? Do you have joy or do you have depression? How is your peace? Do you have that peace of past God on the same? Have you checked your fruit today? What fruits are you bearing? And what fruits are you cultivating in your life? We always got to focus on that. That's what we work for and thrive for. See, it doesn't matter, like you said, like I said before, anyway, <laughs> you you are all the Christian you can wear for that you want. You, you can wear, hey, here's a uh, fish and carols and, 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 and here's, look, here's a ministry. You, you can have it all over, but if you act like a devil, it don't mean nothing. If you have no love, it doesn't mean nothing. If you're doing those things, but you ain't have love with you, it don't mean nothing. Have you checked your food today? What fruits have you been? And let's remind ourselves, what are the fruits of the characteristics we're talking about anyway? And look, ain't nobody gonna get deep on you. Ain't nobody sit there and say, oh, I got a life. I have it. No, I'm gonna cultivate. I'm cultivating too. I don't know about you. I have to check my food today. And you have to check your food today. And when I slip up, I just keep working on it. That's what it's all about, right? You practice, you practice what you should become. What should be in you? Remember this in Galatians 5 22, but the fruits, and we're talking about gentleness today. And I think most of us really do like to have people that are more gentle instead of rough and rude. We don't like to be around rude people, do we? We don't like to be around angry people and bitter people. No. We run with people to be gentle, gentle with uh, our relationships, <laughs> gentle with how we handle you. Know, like you have a child, are you gentle? Or you act like some crazy person. They don't understand the, the, the importance of protecting that, that, that innocent life. Or even a person. People have sensitive emotions. Are you, are you checking your food today? Are you gentle? Are you checking gentle? Look at the scripture said in Galatians 5.22, but the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, Goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. I told you long suffering means patience. I told you faith means faithfulness. I told you temperance means self-control. If you ever heard that before, that's what they mean. Have you checked your fruits today? Do people recognize you as a Christian? Do they see these characteristics? Or do they see rudeness? I was sitting there listening to a video of the day, the other day, where the guy said, I don't care how you feel. Well, that's not fruits of the spirit. I do care how you feel. I do care whether I'm hurting your feelings. That's the characteristics of the fruits of the spirit. When the Holy Spirit came in us, he brought in those characteristics that says, I do care. I do love. I do have joy that comes from him. I do have patience. I do have peace. Now the question is, are you gentle in how you deal with people? Are you some rude, rough-necked individual? Huh? And I'm going to tell you something. I, you know, as we go through these characteristics, we recognize I don't need to see, I don't need to around people that 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 is rough and crazy. I ain't to, look, and we, we sometimes get confused about well you gotta show you being tough. I ain't gotta show you nothing because it's not you that I'm trying to get approval from. It's him. You know, and that's all of us too. Have you checked your fruits today so that you can be approved by God, not by man? We can try to be showing our, 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 our colors based on our acceptance in me for people, I think we, we're going to keep falling short because it's not about people. It's about Him. Have you checked your fruits today? Are you cultivating the fruits of the Spirit? And let's look at the scriptures that deals with uh, gentleness. But I guarantee you, nobody like that. 
Samuel 2, 22, verse 31. Look at this right here. As for God, his way is perfect. Have you checked your fruits today, y'all? The word of the Lord is tried. Come on now. It's tried and tested. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God? Save the Lord. Look at this now. He is a rock. Save. Who is a rock? Save by God. God is my strength and power. He makes my way perfect. He does, not me and not other people. He makes my feet like hind feet and settles me upon my high places. He is me up. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in my arms. See, he teaches that I, I ain't like you to be weak. I want you to be strong. I want you to be prepared. I want you to be able to defend yourself. I just don't want you to be so rude that you're always attacking people. I know, I want you that. But you have to defend yourself. Look at that. Why are we trying to say be weak? <laughs> but he said that you're bearing these fruits. And then he said in 36, Thou has, thou has also given me the shield of my salvation, and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou has enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. God, gentleness. And if God, characteristics, is dealing with gentleness, guess what? So do you. So, so do I. We're supposed to bear the fruits of the Spirit. Have you checked your fruit today? How's that love coming? How's that joy coming? Huh? How's that patience? How's that peace? How's those things come? How are you gentle? Or are you rough? Are you rude to a people? Do you recognize people's feelings are important? Are you gentle to the feelings of other people? Have you checked your fruit today? Because people want to see that. I one time use an analogy of Chinatown. Chinatown is in places like San Francisco or New York and some other places. And, and when you walk in the city and you start going into that neighborhood called Chinatown, you know I need to tell you that you're in Chinatown. You start seeing the traditions and the culture just, just change around you. That, hey, I'm no longer just in San Francisco. I'm in Chinatown in San Francisco. Well, what we really want to get the point to is that your fruit that you bear, those characteristics that we read, have you checked your fruit today so that when someone comes in your environment, by, by dealing with the world environment, they all of a sudden come into your presence, which is your presence and where the Holy Spirit dwells, right? The kingdom of heaven is within you. Therefore, they come into the kingdom's presence and they should see the gentleness. They should see that you care about their feelings, and that you're not going to be rough with their feelings. Have you checked your fruit today? That's my reminder for you. That's a reminder for me. So what I say, you are saying to me, check your fruit. Is that right? Get it right, all right? But are you judging? Have you checked your fruit today? I did. I'm working on it. But you know what? That's a good thing. Because the bad thing is not working on it at all. Amen? Check your fruit. And if you don't see it, it ain't right. You see, even, I'm telling you, I don't care if the person goes to church every day, carry a Bible, walk around and for name, but they're not gentle, they're not being thankful and thoughtful to somebody else's needs and feelings. They're not looking at what hurt somebody else's feelings. They would be rough to somebody's feelings. They ain't bad fruit. You need to let them say, well, tell them, you, all you can do is to check your fruit and let people see there's a difference between a believer and somebody who wants to pretend to be. I always said one time, Gandhi said he always thought Christianity was a great thing until he met a Christian. Don't let somebody do the same thing to you. Don't let them walk away from Christ because of you. Be gentle, be understanding, be thoughtful. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and remind you tomorrow. I'll remind you next time you see this video. 
and you check your fruit today. Amen? All right, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.